Hi, I'm here at one of the world's largest state-of-the-art mills, Hammond Cedar. Due to the potential value of these logs, the goal here is to maximize quality and yield by use of advanced saw technologies. Initial rough cuts are made by chainsaws, then more accurate cuts are made by bandsaws. However, the primary cutting tool used in converting logs to lumber is the circuit or saw. In the past 30 years, saw technologies have changed dramatically. In the late 60s, Al Thrasher, an Oregon-based mill owner, developed the Retech Arbor, a round-tooth free-floating design which freed the blade from the collar, allowing for accurate saw guiding. An initially skeptical industry soon realized the Retech system reduced saw thickness and kerf, improving lumber recovery by 5% or more. The blade's optimum position is perpendicular to the arbor. The amount the blade moves off this optimum position is measured as saw kerf. Multi-blade gang configurations benefit the most from reduced saw kerf. If two parallel blades deflect toward or away from each other, sawing variation is doubled. Both quality and yield suffer. Due to its superior performance, the Retech Arbor system was adopted by the lumber industry. But the system was not perfect. A fast wear rate of both arbor and saw eye resulted in increased maintenance costs. Eb Kerbuck of Foreign Tech Canada Corporation completed research that isolated the flaw in the Retech design. The initial wear was due to poor fit and a small contact point between mating tooth faces. The result of this wear increased backlash clearance, which further accelerated the wear of both arbor and saw eye. This is Vancouver Gearworks. For the past 50 years, Van Gear has been manufacturing gears for various industries worldwide. The fast wear rate between the saw eye and the arbor was recognized by Vancouver Gearworks to be the primary problem of the round tooth Retech Arbor. As a result, Van Gear developed and introduced a new Involute Gear Tooth Arbor design in 1994. The Involute Gear Tooth Arbor is precision machined and gear cut with hobbing machines. It provides full contact between mating tooth faces of the saw eye and arbor, regardless of the amount of backlash clearance. This drastically reduced saw eye and arbor wear. Weldwood of Canada, Vancouver Gearworks, and Foreign Tech extensively tested the Inblue Gear Tooth Arbor in the mill environment under the supervision of Eb Kerbuck. The results showed that the Involute Gear Tooth design reduced arbor wear by a full 50%. The Involute design also further reduced saw thickness and kerf. This arbor design became known as the Van Gear Arbor. It has been highly successful and is now widely used in North America and around the world. Originally, circular saw arbors were made in an integral solid form but now it's more common for them to be manufactured in a sleeve format. This consists of a keyed center shaft or mandrel that is fitted with multiple hardened sleeves with keyed bores. The idea behind this configuration is to reduce maintenance costs. Instead of replacing the whole arbor, only the sleeves need to be replaced. However, there are some problems associated with a sleeved system with keyed bores. When a keyed sleeve is heat treated to the required hardness, the residual stress in the sleeve relieves over the keyway, resulting in an oval sleeve, which requires greater saw eye clearance in order to fit. Also, when a sleeve is keyed, clearance is produced between the top of the key and the keyway, and when it is put on the keyed mandrel, the clearance causes the assembled unit to become unbalanced. To correct this, the assembled unit must be dynamically balanced. During manufacturing, the depth of the keyway clearance is difficult to control, and as a result, not consistent. So, if sleeves are repositioned, or if new ones are added to the unit, dynamic balancing is required again, or an unacceptable vibration level may occur. Vancouver Gearworks has developed and completed testing on its next generation of arbor systems, named the Ultratech Universal Arbor. This patented versatile arbor overcomes the problems associated with previous designs and further increases sawing performance. The system consists of a precision balanced splined mandrel, multiple universal involute sleeves, and hardened saw blades with machine saw eyes. The dynamically balanced spline mandrel increases arbor strength and reduces bending of the arbor. When a sleeve is heat treated, it does not distort the roundness and balance of the sleeve because the spline teeth are equally distributed around the bore, and the residual heat treat stress is not concentrated in one spot, like it would be with a keyed sleeve. The new sleeves are then mounted on the universal spline mandrel and you're manufactured to a sliding fit for easy assembly and removal. The hardened universal sleeves are interchangeable, reversible, or replaceable without the need for rebalancing of the mandrel. 
To make this possible, Vancouver Gear employs skilled machinists using gear cutting machines to manufacture accurate, naturally balanced sleeves to exacting specifications. Spline bore arbor sleeves in combination with machined eye saw blades now allow for the backlash clearance to be reduced to as little as three one thousandths of an inch, ensuring that a small backlash clearance is maintained for a prolonged period of time. The universal sleeves make repair and maintenance faster and less costly. Here's an example. This one worker was able to disassemble and change all of the sleeves and then put the system back online all during the lunch break shutdown. The same operation for a solid form arbor or keyed arbor, which needs dynamic rebalancing, would take significantly longer. Saw blades with machined eyes provide maximum consistent performance from all blades in the gang. When a saw blade is manufactured today, it is laser cut the finished size and then heat treated to the required hardness. The heat treating process causes the saw eye to distort into an oval shape due to grain orientation in the steel. This photo illustrates the variation that occurs when laser cut saw eyes are heat treated. This results in poor contact between mating teeth of the arbor and saw eye. Increased clearance is required to assure that they'll fit together. With a gear cut eye, the distortion is eliminated and the backlash clearance can be minimized and controlled for optimum performance in a variety of sawing applications. An example of this is a technology called Curve sawing has great potential. By following the natural curve of the cant, a greater yield can be achieved. Curve sawing puts increased stress on the arbor and blades. If the tolerance of saw eye to arbor is inconsistent between blades, then poor results will occur. A blade with small clearance will resist the torque imposed by curve sawing to a greater degree than one with larger clearance. The Ultratech Arbor provides consistent clearance for every blade, therefore making it an excellent platform for curve sawing technology. Different methods of achieving curve sawing exist. Regardless of whether the saw, guides, arbor, or cant are manipulated, the involute profile performs better than the Retech design. There are some commonly held misconceptions regarding curve sawing in the Retech system. It is believed that the round teeth provide a universal effect, making it suitable for curve sawing. This is not true. Torque imposed on the pivot point of Retech system has a heavy point load, as this bench test shows. By contrast, the involute tooth maintains contact in a larger area. Another misconception is that the blade won't flow freely over the joint between involute sleeves. As this bench test shows, the blade is not affected by the joint. This is the British Columbia Institute of Technology. Here, students and veterans come to develop their skills and knowledge in new sawing technologies. Dennis Reed, Chief Instructor of BCIT Saw Trades. Today's world requires closer tolerances in the cutting of wood, which means that there is going to be a significant change in edgers, arbors, and saw designs. My apprentices take these courses. They learn very fast that it is much quicker to see hands-on rather than reading it out of a book. What we're doing here is demonstrating the different principles and designs of arbors and saws, saw tolerances, how it was developed and the history of where we were, where we're going and what we need in the future for proper lumber recovery. Van Geer have been working very closely with these apprentices to help them understand the close tolerances required. Precision saw grinding is a key requirement for the successful implementation of thin curve sawing technology. To improve the grinding accuracy, a special saw centering device for sharpening circular saw blades, which have the saw eye profile machined after heat treating, has been developed for sawmill filing rooms by Vancouver Gearworks Limited. In the past, the centering devices were located on the saw eye teeth or in the bore of the saw eye. This method referenced from the wearing portion of the driving spline teeth or the distorted bore of the saw eye. With the wear and distortion being uneven, the saw blade is always ground from a different reference point. Each time the grinding is done, the blade is ground out of round, producing proud teeth which results in a different bite per tooth when cutting lumber. Uneven loading, the result of uneven grinding, increases saw blade deflection and creates greater lumber variation and guide wear. With thicker saw blades, the uneven grinding does not affect the sawing performance as much but thinner blades have greater load demands placed upon them and accurate grinding becomes critical. 
Machining the saw produces a precision eye size, and at the same time clearance is produced on the major diameter, which is the top of the tooth space. This area never contacts the saw arbor, and is the reference point from where the precision saw centering device locates. Saw blades can now be ground accurately, and this grinding accuracy is guaranteed for the lifetime of the saw. Thus, sawing problems caused by inaccurate grinding due to improper centering are eliminated. Let's look at the results of the testing which has been completed by Interfor, Hammond Cedar, Vancouver Gearworks, and Foreign Tech. Ten machined saw eyes were compared with ten laser cut saw eyes, and after six months of operation, the backlash clearance of the machined eyes on average increased only one one thousandth of an inch. In contrast, the backlash clearance of the laser cut eyes increased greatly, on average six one thousandths of an inch. The gear cut eyes decreased wear by six hundred percent which translates into lower maintenance costs and increased sawing accuracy. Extensive metal testing on several units has shown the Ultratech Universal Arbor System is proving to be a huge success and is increasing profits for the sawmill industry. Results show an increase in lumber yield and improved lumber quality. A mill running the new system has supplied their in-house quality control reports comparing the results of their previous Involute Arbor to the new Ultratech Universal Arbor System. Prior to installation of the Ultratech Arbor System, they had a total board variation of 34 thousandths of an inch, or 0.86 millimeters. After installation of the Ultratech Arbor System, the total board variation was reduced to 20 thousandths of an inch, or 0.51 millimeters, an improvement of 14 thousandths of an inch, or 0.36 millimeters. Now, how do these numbers translate? The Mills Economic Analysis Report showed a resulting net increase in profit of $147,725 per year without maintenance improvements factored in. The first Ultratech system ran with the original sleeves for over three years. Blade life was increased by 30% with reduced guide wear. It is easy to recognize that the costs of the new Ultratech Universal Arbor System are quickly offset by substantial increases in quality, recovery, and profit. When the original Involute Gear 2 Splined Arbor was introduced in 1994, it was a significant improvement over the Retech design. An even bigger improvement is the introduction of the Ultratech Universal Arbor System, which provides a precision fit and reduces wear between the arbor and saw. The sawmill industry has significantly benefited by reducing maintenance costs and improved sawing performance. Vancouver Gearworks is committed to manufacturing and supporting high-performance, durable arbor systems to meet the needs of an evolving lumber industry.